Hello and welcome again to Pilates Flow. Have you got your mat in your space? Knees soft, feet hip width apart. And just circle your shoulders backwards. And then just the right one and then the left one. And gradually allow your chest to follow, keeping your knees soft and your hips facing the front. Nose in line with the breastbone. Both shoulders again. Just engage the tummy muscles. Raise and lower the arms to shoulder height, just floating them up and down, gradually going a bit higher. And then add heel lifts as you raise the arms. Keep your shoulders in place, don't shrug them. Breathing in to raise, breathing out to lower. Just holding it a little bit longer, keeping your arms high. Coming down and then lowering your arms. Taking the arms slightly behind as well, so you can feel the triceps working. Land the heels each time. Now raise the right arm and stretch overhead, tilting at the waist and lower. Do the same on the other side, keeping your knees soft and not swinging your hips out in the opposite direction. Let's go again, but this time lift the heels so it's a lot harder. Use your tummy muscles to help you stay balanced and keep your knees soft. Don't forget to breathe. I nearly lost it there. And keep the shoulders in place. So a little shoulder roll to set them back and down, raise both arms. And this time you're tilting with both arms raised. So that makes it even harder. You might not be able to tilt as far, but that's fine. Remember, keep the pelvis still and the knees soft. Now raising your right knee and bringing the arms to shoulder height, extending the leg, pressing the arms behind, bending the knee again and then lowering. So arms to shoulder height as you bend the knee, extend leg, press arms behind, bend knee, arms in front and then lower arms and leg. Breathing in to raise, breathing out to extend, breathing in to raise, breathing out to lower. Keep going, keep the tummy in. And when you extend, don't lean backwards. Keep your upper body really vertical. That's it, nice smooth moves. Into chair squats, bending the knees, sending the hips and the bottom behind you, feeling the body weight in your heels, keeping the pelvis steady, keeping the tummy in and the shoulders back and down. Holding the squat as you widen the arms, arms back in front, stand up. So down, widen, in front, stand up keeping the body really still. So this time we scoop the pelvis and roll up through the vertebra, rolling the shoulders back and down as you stand up. So you feel the spine move vertebra by vertebra. Keep your tummy muscles in. Raise arms, bend the knees a tad, scoop pelvis, roll down hands to thighs, roll the shoulders back, look straight ahead, stick out your bottom, re-scoop pelvis, roll up. So let's do that again. Raise arms, scoop pelvis, tummy in, roll down through the spine, hands to thighs. Then roll your shoulders back, look straight ahead, stick out your bottom and do your little tail wag. Hips side to side, looking over your shoulder at your imaginary tail. Scoop and roll up, shoulders back. Heels together, turning out the knees and toes, lifting the heels, squeezing your bottom, rotating upper body to the right, landing heels, bending knees, double salute, rotate other way. Keep the hips facing the front. So keep going with this one. Don't forget to squeeze your bottom and keep it squeezed as you rotate. But when you land, you just release those glutes. So bend the knees there. Don't stick out the bottom if you can help it. Separate the heels. Walk the feet or zigzag them wide. So the heels are on the mat, but the knees and toes turn outwards. And just taking squats here, keeping your body vertical. Now we hold and pull back to the right. Come up and do the same on the other side. Again, this is just the upper body rotating, not your pelvis. So keep your legs and your hips still. And this time, raise the heels as you come up into a balance, taking the arms behind, keeping the tummy muscles in. So just trying to flow the moves, as we always do in Pilates flow and Pilates in general. And lower the heels, soften the knees, step a little bit wider, lunging to the right, keeping the hip bones level, and then to the left, of course. If you keep your hands on your hips, you can feel that your hip bones are level. Now it's the left arm that comes across the body, and you let the chest follow, and then bring it back to centre as you lunge to the left. Four times, and then let's go the other way. So the arm comes across, underneath and in a circle, and let the chest follow. Maybe more and more each time. Here's the last one. Bring it back to centre and roll the shoulders back. Lower the arms by your side. And now left arm comes across to right knee as you bend it and vice versa. 
letting the chest follow, keeping the shoulders back and down. Now blend those two moves together so you don't really stop in the middle. And you reach your hand a little lower than your knee if you can. So tummy muscles in and bring it back to centre. Zigzag the feet back in. Feet hip width. Now I'm going to turn around but you stay facing the screen. Just follow me. Arms are high. Scoop pelvis, curl down, hands to thighs. Hands to the floor. And then just step or wriggle your right foot back along the mat. And allow that right knee to just sink towards the floor a bit. Feeling a stretch in your right hip. Step in. And let's change sides. Exactly the same. So you're feeling that stretch through the left hip and lowering that left knee gently towards the floor. Step in. Keep your tummy muscles in. Scoop pelvis. Roll up. Roll the shoulders back so you're standing. Now take the arms high. Scoop pelvis. Curl down through the spine. Hands to the floor and walk them forwards along those imaginary tram lines. Bottom in the air. Feel the stretch in the back of your legs. Then bend your knees. And walk even further forward into a plank, keeping the shoulders really strong. You can drop your knees to the floor and lift your feet instead if you like. Tummy muscles in, elbows soft. Choose which position, but either knee out to the side, alternating sides, or if you're on your feet, foot out to the side. So we try and keep the pelvis really still and the shoulders strong and the tummy in and the head still. Now you take the knee out and then sort of slide it, glide it round towards your hand. And you can do the same if you're on your feet. Step out and then bend the knee up round the side in a sort of curve shape, an arc shape, bringing it towards your hand. But again, the same rules apply. Body still, shoulders strong, tummy in. So if you've got your head near the screen and your feet away from the screen, on your knees with your bottom flat and your feet lifted, turn the lower body to the right and then let the chest follow. One leg on top of the other, really strong through that left shoulder. Coming back, turn your chest first, then your lower body. Other side now, turning the hips first, then the upper body. So you're in a diagonal position. And then the chest comes back first and then the legs and the hips. So upper body and then lower body. Just stretching if you need to. Let's do the same on our feet if you can. Or have a rest or do it again on your knees. Notice the legs are scissored. So the front leg is the right leg in that case. And then when we switch it round, which we're going to do, unless you want a little stretch in the middle there, you'll find that now it's your left leg that's at the front. So keep your tummy in, keep your body straight. It's diagonal, but it's straight. Nice and strong through that right shoulder. And then return and sit back, bottom near your heels. So we're going to now roll down through the body. Fingers pointing forwards, hands under your shoulders. Bend your elbows towards your hips rather than letting them swing out to the side. So keep your shoulders nice and strong. Your thighs and pelvis goes down first, then down through the belly and then rolling back up. You can start with your knees down or you can start on your feet with your knees off, which is slightly harder. Rolling down. So you're extending your spine. Knees go down first if you want to. That's probably easier. Rolling down through the body, up the chest. And then this time just move your hands out of the way so that you're lying on your front. And salute with your right hand, keeping your left hand on the floor and rotate the upper body, lifting that right shoulder, keeping your bottom relaxed and your legs and feet still. Four times to the right and then we're going to switch hands. So keeping your right hand on the floor, don't just move your head, you're actually lifting that left shoulder. Movement is actually through the spine at the waist. Keep breathing evenly, keep it flowing nice and smooth. Rolling the shoulders back now nice and strong. We're lifting the upper body and the legs, squeezing your bottom, trying to keep your shoulders from rounding, working the back muscles and the glutes. Now it's opposite arm to leg. So... Just keep changing sides, but make sure you're doing right arm, left leg and left arm, right leg. Using your glutes still. Now strong shoulders and using your core as well as your chest and arm muscles to push up. Maybe stay in child pose, maybe come back down, lowering your body, using your core and keeping your shoulders strong. If you can come up directly onto your feet without coming up onto your knees, even better. But obviously you can work up towards that one. Taking a rest in child pose briefly. And then coming onto all fours, hands under shoulders, knees under hips, and then it's opposite arm to leg. So we're going right arm, left leg, and left arm, right leg. 
keep your knee bent, keep your hips still. It's all about keeping the pelvis still, not leaning to one side. And use your core to keep you centred, to keep your pelvis still. So now we take the leg out and bring it in and touch the knee and then take it back out again and then replace and do the same on the other side. So just making it a little bit trickier. Same rules apply. Keep your shoulders still, keep your pelvis still, use your abs. Don't forget to breathe. And then taking a cat stretch, scooping the pelvis, then bringing your feet round in front, taking your legs wide. Try and sit as tall as you can, tilting side to side, not engaging your thigh muscles. Keep your knees soft, keep your feet relaxed and don't shrug your shoulders. So now we rotate and lean to that right thigh. Rotate to the left and lean to the left thigh, keeping your shoulders back and down. Just keep going. This time, bring your left hand across, flex your right foot and touch your little toe, taking your right arm behind. Come back, bring yourself up using your abs, rotate to the left, flex your left foot, bring your right arm across. So little finger tries to slice off little toe. Take your left arm behind with the thumb down. Shoulders back, don't hunch them. Use your tummy to bring you back. Raise the arms without shrugging shoulders. Bend the knees, bring the legs in front. Let's wriggle forward to the front of the mat using your core. Keep the shoulders from shrugging. Scoop pelvis, drop back using the tummy muscles and just hold and breathe. Widen the arms and then rotate to the right, bringing the left arm across and vice versa. So the other way. Keep the hips and legs still. Use your abs to bring you back to the top. Drop back by scooping the pelvis. Again, wide arms, rotate. That's it. So keeping the hips and legs still, but turning the chest, bring the arms up, use your abs to bring you to the top, scoop and go down again, rotating for a third time. And then use the tummy muscles to draw you back up and take a lovely stretch of the back there. So placing the hands under the shoulders, heel of hands under shoulders, fingers pointing wide, shoulders strong. Use your core to lift your bottom off. You don't have to go this high. Tip your head back a little, keep the chin the same distance off the chest and then extend your right leg, then your left without sinking into the shoulders. Now that's tricky. So you don't have to have your hips lifted as high as I do here. And just keep going, using the core to stabilise your pelvis. Keep those shoulders nice and strong. It really opens up the shoulders, does that one. Shuffling forward so you've got some mat behind you, right knee to chest and curl down through the vertebra and back up. So try to use your core to get you down and back up without hunching the shoulders or using your neck muscles. You don't have to go down all the way. Take your hands behind your thighs or up in the air to make it harder. Curl down with both feet on the floor this time and back up. Again, using your core. Let's try right knee in and roll down vertebra by vertebra. Extend that right leg so you get a nice hamstring stretch. Bend it and roll back up using the core. Let's do the same on the left, left knee towards chest. Just hold it lightly as you roll down through the spine. Extend the left leg, flex the foot and then roll back up without hunching your shoulders or tensing your shoulders. Try and use your core. Let's go again. This time we raise the leg before we roll down, making it harder. Notice I took my right hand behind and used it to help me come back up which of course you can do. Just don't shrug the shoulders. So lift the leg before you roll down. Still try and scoop the pelvis. I'm using my left hand to help me there. Try and use your core the whole time. This time I'm keeping both hands on my leg so that I'm not using my hands to help me go down and up. So you can do that if you want, or you can do a repeat of what we just did. Or you can do both hands behind. Both hands is easier, of course. Gives you a bit more support than one hand. So just choose your level. Don't feel that you have to make it really difficult. It's a journey. Take your time to make it harder. Each time you do this video, maybe you can progress to the next level. I'm just showing you the different levels here. Go with how your body feels. Wherever you can get your core in charge, that's the level for you. Widening the legs now, as we did before. Try not to lock the knees, keep your thighs nice and relaxed. Scoop the pelvis, roll down vertebra by vertebra, very difficult. And bend the knees, lifting the feet off the floor and then replace the feet to the floor. So your feet are hip width, hands behind the head. Scoop pelvis, roll the upper body up off the floor. Touch the knees using your abs to lift you higher. And then hands back behind the head again as you lower a couple of inches. 
so keep the pelvis slightly scooped. Try not to use your neck. And now keeping your left hand behind your head, right hand to left knee, and then vice versa. So you're rotating that upper body. And now extend the leg that you're not twisting towards. So try and breathe out as you reach and lift. Breathe in as you lower with control. Just keep going. And maybe rather than touch the knee, or after you've touched the knee, touch the floor on the opposite side. So you need to make more of a rotation to do that. Try not to pull on your neck. Use the stomach muscles, not your neck and shoulders. So you touch the opposite knee, then you extend the leg that you're not touching or don't extend the leg. It's completely up to you. And touch the floor on the opposite side. Then lower your upper body. Arms by your side, wriggle your feet in a bit. Scoop pelvis, roll up into a shoulder bridge using your stomach muscles and your glutes. Roll back down, vertebra by vertebra. Wriggle your feet in a little more, up through the vertebra, lifting the bottom. And then once you're in that shoulder bridge, can you lift that right leg? Knee into chest first, then extend the right leg up in the air. Then bring that right knee back towards the chest. Then replace the foot. Then roll down so that your bottom's back on the mat. And then roll back up through the spine. Bring your left knee in, extend it up to the ceiling, bend it, place the left foot on the floor and roll back down through the spine. If that's too difficult, you don't need to lift the whole leg up. Now lifting both feet off the floor, so make sure you're engaging your tummy muscles before you do that. Widen your legs and bring them into a scissor. And as you do that, putting a different leg in front each time, lift your upper body, hands support the back of your head, and then as your legs go wide, you reach with both hands towards your feet and lift yourself a little higher. And each time you cross your legs, you come back down with your upper body, not all the way to the floor, and just put your hands behind your head. Roll back down to the floor, keeping your legs in the air. Arms by your side. Roll up the spine, bringing your feet towards your head. So peeling your bottom and lower back off the mat. You can have your hands above your head on the floor if you prefer. Or by your side, you can maybe give yourself a little push. Can you lift the hips, the pelvis a little higher once you've rolled in using your core muscles? So you roll in, you push the hips up. Now widen the legs and close them. Just bringing the feet together each time, trying to keep your hips lifted off the mat. If that's too difficult, keep your hips more towards the mat. So widening and closing the feet using your core. Don't tense your shoulders. Use your tummy muscles. Keep your knees soft. Roll back down through the spine, bend the knees, and now we're wriggling the hips, bringing the right hip bone towards the right shoulder and then the left hip bone towards the left shoulder. You can have your hands by your side or above your head. As if you're sort of twisting your hips one way and then the other, the feet stay directly above your pelvis. They don't move side to side. Widen the feet, bend the knees, keep your abs switched on and slowly lower the feet to the floor. Once they have lowered, straighten your legs and have a lovely stretch. Relax, just for a couple of seconds. Step the feet back in, bring the feet and knees together, switch on your abs, and lift your feet, keeping your knees bent, and rotate your lower body side to side. Let your hips follow your knees, arms wide, palms towards the floor, and keep your upper body as still as possible. So this is lower body rotation. Try not to use your thigh muscles, or your neck and shoulder muscles, just keep it all in the core. Control, breathe. And then hold that rotation to the right, allowing the left leg to cross over or rest on top of the right leg. And hold this stretch, just relax. Now bring that left leg back. Lift both legs up and over using your tummy muscles and do the same to the left. Let the lower body rest to the left, crossing your right leg over your left leg if you want to. Relax and breathe. Now bring your right leg on top of your left. Use your tummy to bring yourself back to centre. Hug your knees in and roll up to sitting. You might need to use momentum for that. Feet together, knees wide. Hug your knees in. Roll back down. Twirl your feet. And roll back up. Widen your knees, hold your ankles. Curl your upper body, curl your spine forward. Take a little stretch of the inner thighs and the back. Bring the knees together. Straighten your legs, raise your arms and lean your body forward. Allow your shoulders to roll forward and just sink there, stretching your hamstrings and your spine. Roll back up, roll your shoulders back. Bring your feet round the back, 
We come onto our knees. We lift the knees and poke the bottom in the air, drawing the shoulders away from the head. Walk the feet in. Scoop pelvis, roll up using your tummy muscles, roll up through the spine to standing. Roll your shoulders back and down. Bring your chin towards your chest. Turn and lift the chin and look to the right. Back to centre as you lower and over to the left. And just do that again. Just loosening up through the cervical spine. And then lift your chin, arms wide, and bring the hands in front for a clap. Well done. I hope you enjoyed this Pilates flow workout. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, share the video with your friends or anyone who you think would benefit from it. And of course, check out my other videos. I've got plenty on this channel, all kinds of workouts, tips and tricks. Hope to see you next time. Bye.